Yeah, man. There's something that I want to talk about that's very important. And a lot of people get um a lot of people get tricked and, and confused about this particular thing. So uh I was just talking to somebody and they're saying like, well, it seems like all the people around me, you know, know what I'm thinking and they're commenting on what I'm thinking. And so this person was saying that we're on a beach and you know, with the beach you're probably some distance away from other people and there's a lot of extra noise going on like with the waves crash whoosh, whoosh. all that type of noise is great for artificial telepathy um you know it, it helps to make things more confusing you know and they can if somebody's not very close to you and you can actually see their mouth moving and them talking it's like say somebody's you know at and at a distance or say somebody's in the other room right here they're in the other room right gang stalkers can be making it seem like those people are in that other room talking about me when really they ain't saying a word so you have to be very careful um the number one rule all right that that you guys have to understand this is very important this is the number one rule that uh, I need people to understand so you can not have to be paranoid about everybody you see in everyday life because gang stalkers can use artificial telepathy with, you know, EMF broadcasts, artificial telepathy. They can use that to make things very confusing. OK, and it can seem like people around you are talking about you. They can put other people like they could put, uh, you know, they could put my family on remote neural monitoring and, uh, you know, have them uh, say I'm around my family and they could, you know, have those voices. Like I go to the other room and I make it seem like my family's in there talking about me. You could do a lot of things to make stuff very confusing. Artificial telepathy is the most confusing thing in the world. You have to become advanced and you have to have a good understanding of how all of this works. But um, it, it, the biggest mistake they make is... Um, they they talk about the things that we're thinking that we didn't say out loud okay if you didn't say it out loud and you only thought something and they know that thought that's a dead giveaway okay that's the number one thing to to receive your thoughts in their mind they must they must be 100 percent. they have to be wearing a mind control headset on their head and it looks like an EEG device. I posted pictures of them before. Um, it works like a reverse of an EEG. A EEG reads your brain waves that you're giving off. Well, a mind control receives a broadcast and emits that right in and they can receive what they choose to receive by settings on their neural monitoring on the internet where they've accessed their own profile and set it to receive you. And now they're receiving you. They're receiving your thoughts. They get every thought you have, even the slightest. You can't trick. You can't trick it. You can't trick the system. Okay? You can't uh, confuse a gangster. If you think they they know what you think, so people are always like, "Well, you need to, you know, do this and let's, you know, try to confuse them." And I always do this. They're not confused. They're not confused. And if they're saying something, and you hear it. They wanted you to hear it. Okay, they don't they don't uh, mix up and accidentally you heard them say this or that. Whatever you heard, it's because they wanted you to hear it. So it's part of the scheme. So remember that too. But uh, when they're receiving you, they get everything. They can see what you see. They see it in their mind. They see it like they see it. Like like the, the mind control have these little eye covers, right? So they got the eye covers and the mind control on. And they're just sitting there in this, this subconscious state. But they can see what you see. They can basically live as you. Um, or they could live as a broadcast. They could, they could be a hologram next to you. They could be you. It's a lot of ways they could set it how they want to. But if they know what you're thinking, it is 100% that they must be on a mind control headset. The only exception to this, okay? Um, well, okay, there's, there's one kind of exception. The kind of exception is um, if somebody's set to artificial telepathy, with you and that means they're receiving you you're receiving them okay it's the same difference it's the same thing the mind control just just is an amplifier okay but like me sometimes i kind of get 
what they're thinking a little bit. Okay, but you got to be an expert and it's very subtle. You have to know what's going on and you, it's not the way they do it. Okay, it's not a feasible option. You know, when they're just repeating everything you're thinking and all this, they're not getting, they're not getting that um, without that headset. They only could get that by wearing the mind control. That's the only way they can get that. Now, the only real exception is, okay, that um, somebody is connected with you on the mind control. And then they, that person that's receiving you is set to artificial telepathy with somebody that's around you. That that can be happening. Okay, I've had that happening. I've had uh, somebody around me that was talking with uh, whoever was connected to me on artificial telepathy. They were, and I can't hear it. Okay, I can't hear them talking to each other. Um, I can't hear the broadcast, but um, I could see the person that I was with moving their mouth, and that's a dead giveaway. When because when somebody's talking to you with artificial telepathy, you probably know you tend to want to talk along with them, and you have it's a learned thing where you have to learn to break off from that. So um, that's why when these gang stalkers are connected to you, you can really make them say whatever you want to make them say. Okay, you, if you think, uh, you know, tell them their mom's a crack or uh, just be like your, your mom's a crack or say my mom's a crack or they'll say it. They'll say what you think. Okay, they'll say what you think. They're mind raping you. But to when they receive you, it's you, you, the urge is to say it. That's why I always say what you're thinking about. Because there's an urge to do so. It's just like the telepathy. Uh, it's mind control. The telepathy is a form of mind control. And they all go together. But the only way that somebody around you that's not wearing that headset can know what you're thinking is to have somebody that is on that headset giving them the play-by-play -play update. And that makes it, that's very difficult for them to be on top of things. And then they have to figure out how to word things and whatever, whatever to, to make it. Uh, work like that and it's it's very difficult for them to run it in that type of scenario with that process so just know that whoever knows what you're thinking all right if they're talking to you with the artificial telepathy and they know what you think and they know what you see they are 100 percent on that mind control headset and that means that they are not out in public they are not running around following you they are not with you they are not the mailman they are not the comcast man they are not the store clerk and they're not the guy over there with the phone they're not looking at a phone to get what you think that's not how this works i used to think so i used to think so five years ago okay i call i started calling it the readout i'd be like y'all gonna give me my readout uh, i thought it was the readout i called it that because i thought they were reading my thoughts off of a device and seeing what i see off of a device like they sit there and just watch their device and and it would come across with everything that i was thinking and, and my view but that's not how it works at all. That that's not how I promise. One hundred percent. I swear to God, that's not how it works. It works by them receiving you on a mind control headset that they wear. They receive you, and it's, it amplifies it right into their mind. And when they know what you think, they know it in their mind. When they see what you see, they see it in their mind. Just like your eyes see me right now, and that processes into your mind okay and so your mind processes what your eyes what what the reflection of light off of your retinas uh your mind processes that okay if you close your eyes and imagine a fire breathing dragon swooping down and um you know crashing into your house if you imagine that in your mind and you can see it in your mind these gang stalkers who are connected to you can see that Okay, so it's not really the view from your eyes, it's the view uh, that your mind processes, whether it be imagination, dream, or the view from your eyes. It's just whatever your mind is processing. If you think about how cold you are, if you feel cold, or if you uh, got to pee real bad, or um, you know, if, you're, if you stub your toe, or if you have an orgasm, or um, any feeling or thoughts that you have, they can get that. They get that. They get that. They love mind control. They love mind control. That's why it becomes sexual for them because they can connect to each other. So orgasms just become unanimous for a group of people.
So they all get on mind control together, like the hive mind. They all get on mind control together and become sexual in orgy type scenarios. So, um, but this is what you got to know, though. If somebody's knowing what you think and they can see what you see, then they are definitely 100% on a mind control headset. That's how it works. Okay, so that is the number one most important thing that uh, targeted people dealing with remote neural monitoring, artificial telepathy. That's the number one thing that you have to be aware of. And that'll help a lot in, in being paranoid and falsely accusing people. Um, so take this information. It's important.